Hey Slavic Vikings and welcome to Polish music, culture and history. The way I see it there are three main categories of modern Polish music and that is pop music, rap music and disco music. And all of these are heavily inspired by Western culture, more precisely the US and Great Britain. Sadly, when we look at Polish art and Polish culture, it is almost always in the genre of another country's art style. The closest Poland has been to creating their own international art style was during the Baroque period, where Poland was in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, where many would call the Polish Golden Age. Some would say that Polish folk music is its own genre, but I would say it's too heavily influenced by Slavic culture to be separated from it. First off, we have Disco Polo. Disco Polo, or Polish Disco Music. Emerged in the Polish meme district, Podlasie, it is more common and more often listened to in more rural and aggressive communities. It was created in the late 80s with the fall of communism in Poland, which I think it is interesting, which is also probably the reason why it is so heavily inspired by Western culture since with the fall of communism in Poland, a lot of Western culture got in. The genre's popularity peaked between 1995 and 1997, gradually declining until the resurgence in 2007. But nowadays, pop music is way more popular, and to be honest, disco polo is mostly listened to in old people communities, or in rural communities and in often if someone finds out that you enjoy disco polo you'll be condemned for your last of lack of taste in music the first real use of disco polo was at polish weddings and at polish parties like i said before the lyrics in these songs are usually about women and having a good life in the peak of Disco Polo, so from 1995 to 1997, 70% of the Disco Polo market was controlled by the Polish Mafia, which nowadays isn't very popular, but in the 90s, the Polish Mafia was pretty big. So the origins of the popularity of Disco Polo are illegal. To be more precise, it was the Pruszków Mafia and Wołomińska Mafia. Disco Polo was met with severe criticism from supporters of other musical genres who accused it of primitiveness of music, lyrical naivety and low level of performance. Just by listening to a couple of songs you start noticing all the similarities. This type of disco music is very popular in West Europe and you can also see similarities of the songs. Next up we have Polish hip hop. So similarly to Disco Polo, 
Polish hip hop has roots in the 80s but only has truly become popular in the 90s, probably due to the fall of communism and introduction of Western culture in Poland. But this one on the other side was more popular in urban areas and the most popular genre of the hip hop was rap. Something that had a big impact on Polish hip hop was American or English people coming into Poland and creating music. Polish people also really liked American raps. Like for example, for example, Eminem is really popular in Poland, or at least was much more in the 90s. To be honest, uh, Polish hip hop seems to be less original than Polish disco, but on the other hand, Polish hip hop seems to become more and more popular without any signs of decline throughout the past years. It is not totally agreed on where Polish hip hop originated from. The most common guesses are Warsaw and Kielce because of the popular artist's origin. And overall, Polish hip hop seems to pretty tightly follow along American trends when it comes to music. So last on the list of notable music genres in Poland, we have Polish folk music. So Polish folk music really isn't that popular in the modern world. The only place where you will hear it is like in the extremely rural mountains, in very culturally concentrated places, and of course the church. The interesting thing about Polish folk music is its origins. Since most songs are two times older than the entirety of USA. Nowadays, the most similar thing you will find to olden days folk music are the songs sung, sung in churches. And music in the Catholic church in Poland is pretty popular from my experience. How did we get to the point where the genres of music are so diverse that you have disco polo, western rap and folk music all in the same countries. To answer that question, we have to go to the origins. People in Poland existed for thousands and thousands of years, but it's only since the year 1000, or to be exact, 966, you could say it has been officially recognized by the Polish baptism by Mieszko I. So for thousands of years, the probable thing was that people would sing to each other different songs and folk songs and it would and even poems and they would be passed on by generation by generation from city to city but none of these things were written down and the first one written down was Bogurodzica around the 14th century in 1300 and it sounds something like this This song is most commonly accepted as the first recorded Polish song. Another reason why finding old Polish songs can be hard is because noble people and people with education, which coincidentally would also be the people who would write songs, would n only know Latin. Po the Polish language was considered a plebeian language made for people who work with animals and food. And because of that, not many people wrote down Polish songs. The 16th and 17th centuries periods of economic prosperity and peace created ideal conditions for the cultivation and advancement of all Polish arts. It was the golden age of Polish culture, the Baroque period. Then we have the Enlightenment, with the probably most popular Polish composer, which is Friedrich Chopin. I'm sure you've heard of him. I would say he is the most popular Polish composer. To be fair, he was living in a non-existing Poland because Poland back then used to be much bigger, but he still was Polish. And then we have the classic 
oppression of culture by the Germans, Russians, and Prussians. So I find this era very interesting because Polish culture couldn't cultivate in a natural way since the Germans, Russians, and Prussians, all in their own way, wanted to enforce their own culture to the regions of Poland, which, of course, Poland technically didn't exist, but the Polish people still existed, which means the Polish culture also still existed, which the countries that invaded did not like. Of course, it depends on what side you were on, but they often banned patriotic songs that motivated people to go and take a revolution. So people would create songs with hidden connotations of Polish patriotism. And because of these artists, the Polish music culture could survive in the undergrounds. Then later during the war, we have the popular composer Czesław Niemen. And after that, we had communism, which also oppressed uh, Polish culture. But then when finally the communists got out, that's when we finally get to our modern classic Polish music. With popular composers like Zenon Martyniuk, Szpaku, Palu, and Blue Cafe. And of course, many more. I feel like Poland is a country that isn't talked about enough compared to its neighbors, like Germany, for example, and I think it deserves more attention. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And as always, Favel, Żegnam, and goodbye. Jak tu być i o czym śnić, Śnić, że nam nie dają żyć. Wszak kultura nie zabrania.